Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about the geometry type data in PostgreSQL. So we will be talking about the point type data, the line type data, the polygon type data, and the circle type data in PostgreSQL. So we will be first talking about the point type data in uh, our database. So point type data can be represented by as uh, the x comma y coordinate or x one comma y one that represents a point. So we will be first uh, learning how to add uh, a point type data in our uh, database. So for that I have created a table known as geometry and I have already added a column known as pri that is a primary key so that I can add data by the GUI method. So next I will be declaring the column for my point that is pt and the data type would be point and this is the data type that will be used to declare a point in our uh, database so you could just click on ok and now we will enter values and you will see that uh, you can enter values by x1 comma y1 and it will take a form of point so this is the way that we declare points in our database you could directly just uh, put them apart with a comma or you could yourself add those brackets it doesn't matter so this is okay so if you do it without the brackets it will put it itself so you don't need to worry about that so you could see this is how the point type data is declared next I'm going to tell you how to add the line type data so for line type data we have two options that a line can be represented by the equation of ax plus by plus c where a and b cannot be equal to zero and that is the general form or the linear equation of a line that can be represented by uh, ax plus by plus c and this is the linear equation of a line and the second form is that we could put uh, two points that is two coordinates that is the start and the end coordinates of a line so this, these are the two methods by which we can uh, declare uh, lines in postgresql so i'm going to discuss about both the methods so you could just name line and the data type here uh, would be line and you would see that it comes up line and you could just click on ok so the first method is to uh, declare our uh, values in the form of the equation of ax plus by plus c so i will tell you how to do that to do that you have to put on the curly places and this is the value of a this is the value of b and this would be the value of c so this would make the equation of ax plus by plus c so this was the method to put uh, uh, equation of the uh, equation of the form ax plus by plus c now if you want to represent the line in form of two endpoints that is the start point and the end point you could do it by the same method that we did it with the point you could just mention two comma three and you will mention three comma four and you see that it takes up as uh, two individual points that is the start point and the end point that makes up the line and even if you uh, do it in the form of uh, three four five six this would take it as x1 y1 x2 and y2 so you could just do it this way for uh, more clarity and uh, so this is my x1 y1 this is my x2 y2 so this is the way we declare a line in postgresql next i will tell you how to declare a polygon in postgresql so now i'll be telling you how to declare a polygon type data in postgresql so i will write my name as poly and the data type would be polygon and you would see that it creates itself the polygon type data and click on ok and you click on the GUI method and a polygon can consist of as many sides as you want there is no restriction from one to infinite you can add any number of sides either it be an open polygon or it be a closed polygon you just need to enter the value of coordinates the x and y coordinates it can go up to x1 y1 till x and y n so here you could put any values up you could just uh, separate it by commas and you need to separate these also by commas this is the speciality of uh, the polygon type data and you could enter as many points as you want you could see that this enters so this will make a polygon either an open or closed we are not concerned so this is the polygon type data in postgresql next i'll be telling you how to declare a circle type data so next i'll be telling you how to declare a circle type data that is uh, cir and the data type would be a circle 
and this would create a circle and just click on this and you could enter a circle by the center points and the radius of the circle that is x1 y1 and the r of the radius so you could just put it by this way first of all you will put the center point that is 3 comma 4 and then you would enter the radius and uh, could just close this and you see that this is the x1 y1 point and this is the radius of the circle so this is the way how a circle is put in postgresql you could uh, put any amount of data here it doesn't matter so this is the way how a circle is represented in postgresql so these geometric operations can be very useful uh, if you are dealing with mathematical kind of data and uh, the, uh, this is the uh, this is the usage of the geometric data in postgresql so thank you for watching this video subscribe for more and stay tuned